Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if you are new here. So for today's video I am filming a spring summer kind of capsule wardrobe essentials video. So I normally film one of these every season so I did an autumn winter one back in 2020 um, but I actually didn't film a spring summer one last year so I thought it was about time I filmed an updated one because I know you guys really enjoy these videos and I find them helpful too for me to like pull out my favourite pieces and start thinking about outfits. So the pieces here on this rail are pieces that I find um, you know I wouldn't be able to make outfits without. I find them to be like my hero pieces in spring summer, uh, the pieces that I you know build all my outfits around and yeah, I'll just be a bit lost if they weren't in my wardrobe. So some of the pieces on here are old, but some of them are new, and I actually have some really exciting new bits to show you as well. Now, the first thing that I want to talk about is dresses. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you will know that I am obsessed with dresses, and I definitely start to bring them into my outfits around about this time of year. So around March, uh, when the weather is kind of changing, and I'll often wear like a nice, pretty summer dress, and I'll pair it with a big leather jacket and boots or something like that, um, and I just think it's a great way to get the use of your dresses for longer. And then Obviously, as the weather gets warmer, I just wear them on their own. So I wanted to show you a few dresses that I have recently um, added to my collection that I think you guys are going to be in love with. So this part of the video is sponsored by Netta Porter, which is probably like one of the most exciting things I've ever said on my YouTube channel. <laughs> I have loved Netta Porter for so, so long and I am so excited to be working with them. So Netta Porter is a site that stocks such a wide range of designers and such a wide range of items as well. So there's shoes, bags, clothes, makeup, so much stuff on there and it also ranges from like the real kind of luxury, premium, high-end designer pieces down to the sort of lower price points as well. So there really is such a huge range on there. So I love shopping on Netta Porter. I feel like it's such an enjoyable and like luxurious experience. So, you know, no matter what you're buying, it's still like a really nice experience. And I think that's so important with online shopping. So, you know, from literally the moment you're on the site, it's such a well-organized, easy to use site. I also absolutely love their styling of pieces and that can often like make me look at things that I wouldn't have looked at before so I love how they style their pieces their photographs are always really really nice and like easy to see the pieces um, their shipping is amazing and when it comes it comes beautifully packaged if you choose their packaging you can opt to choose like you know just a normal kind of brown packaging or you can opt to choose their packaging um, and it comes beautifully packaged in this gorgeous box with tissue paper and it's such a nice experience and I just feel like that's what shopping should be about it should be about you know just feeling good and feeling excited and yeah it's just such an enjoyable experience on Nest Porter so I have a few pieces here to show you which I picked up from Nest Porter so as I said let's start with the dresses so there is a brand on Nest Porter called Faithful the brand and I am obsessed they just do the most beautiful pieces in really nice materials nice prints a little bit kind of different um but yeah really really good quality so i'm going to firstly talk about these so my absolute staples to have in a spring summer wardrobe first up is obviously a white dress i am obsessed with white dresses i just think they make such a beautiful piece they're very you know like basic in the sense that you can layer them with so many different colors whether it's like trench coats or blazers or a leather jacket or a denim jacket or something like that but they also look so so nice worn on their own as well so this is this gorgeous kind of sheared um dress at the top there and i love sheering i think it's so flattering which has these nice kind of puff sleeves um, and then it goes down into like a little tiered skirt there uh, and it's lined so it's not going to be see-through which is amazing because there's nothing worse than a white dress which is see-through and then I love this detail on the back so it has like a cut out detail with a little tie here which I think is just so nice and because you have the shearing on the front that does offer like a little bit of support so I personally wouldn't wear a bra with this but I do think because the hole's not that low you could actually still get away with wearing a bra uh, so yeah as I said this was from Faithful um, via Netta Porter and I got it in a size small and I do think like Netta Porter is so great for discovering new brands as well like I've never actually bought anything from Faithful before so yeah it's been really nice to be able to sort of like discover new brands that I wouldn't have heard of otherwise so I absolutely love this and as I said you can style white dresses with so many things you can dress them up wear them with like a pair of heels or you can dress them down and just wear them with you know like a trench coat and trainers or something like that I love that look um, and then obviously they are such a staple for like a holiday wardrobe as well um, or just for like sort of summer barbecues or something fun like that honestly just seeing these white dresses is making me so excited for spring and summer so that's the first one and then I also feel like a black dress is a really really good staple to have 
in your spring summer wardrobe. I still wear black all the way into spring summer. I think it can look so chic. And um, this is such a gorgeous one. And one that I think is gonna be really, really flattering on so many different like body shapes. So you have this kind of square neckline. And then again, we have the big kind of puff sleeves, which I just love. Um, and then the back is elasticated at the top there. So it's gonna be super, super comfy. It does also have a zip as well to get into it. And then it goes down into this kind of like tiered um, kind of baby doll smock style dress and I just think these are so so flattering they're so comfortable as well um, you know you can eat a big meal in them and not feel like really constricted or anything and then it has a tie detail at the back which I just think adds you know just got like another design feature there so I put this one up in a size medium I don't think they had a small when I was looking but I actually think they do now uh, so we'll see which one fits me and then I might exchange it for the small uh, but I just thought it was so pretty nice and basic and like easy to wear like I said you could style this up with a trench coat denim jacket leather jacket something like that you could also wear like a shirt jacket over the top um, but then I think this would go so nicely into the evening as well maybe paired with um, like a pair of like heeled ankle boots uh, a nice crossbody bag and you're kind of good to go really so yeah I absolutely love this and I'm very very excited to try this one off. okay and then this one is actually a little bit different for me and it isn't one that I would normally include in like a spring summer kind of staples video purely because I do like to try and keep it neutral and like stick to more kind of neutral tones but I saw this on Les Porter and I actually just fell in love straight away and do you know what I am so so glad I got it I think it's my favorite one so it's in this beautiful quite bright kind of floral fabric but it's not kind of too bright that it's kind of too much in your face um, and then it has this gorgeous kind of elasticated neckline so that means obviously you could wear it like bardot like this or you could wear it on the, on the shoulder which obviously is nice and versatile and then it goes in at the waist here which I think is going to be really flattering and it just goes down into a little mini dress but I had so many sort of visions for this like I said I think this would be gorgeous kind of barbecues picnics in the park all of that kind of thing but I also think this would work so nicely for summer weddings now I know a lot of you guys are asking me for summer wedding outfits um, and I think this would be so so gorgeous paired with a nice pair of just nude strappy heels just keep it nice and simple um, and yeah really really pretty and because it's this gorgeous kind of linen fabric it's going to be nice and breathable um, it's lined again let me check the fabric for you yeah so it's 100% linen so it's going to be so nice and breathable and just lovely to wear so I absolutely love this and as I said it's actually like a little bit out of my comfort zone I do like to wear the more neutral colours but I'm obsessed with this so I've just popped onto the Netta Porter app to have a little look because I remember when I bought this dress um, it had like a little bit of information about where it was made and everything like that and I thought that was so nice uh, and it's just obviously so nice to know sort of where your clothes are made so um, this floral print linen style has been handmade and dyed by artisans in Bali the label's co-founders met on the Indonesian island and continue to support the local community uh, so yeah I just thought that was like a nice sort of like little bit of extra information to know um, and yeah Net Sports are really good that they do that on the side of their items so these are all the dresses that I have and obviously you could go for you know slightly longer lengths whether that's midi or maxi faithful also do a lot of those as well so um, I will link them down below and you can have a little browse so next up I want to talk about shirts and t-shirts and things like that so first up I want to talk about this one here uh, so I love shirts in the spring summer I think they are you know they're quite smart but they can be dressed down really easily and paired with jeans and things like that to dress them down um, they're a very kind of classic style they're very timeless they're not going to go out of trend and that is exactly what I aim to do with this um, capsule wardrobe is you know buy things that are very timeless very timeless kind of fits and shapes and everything like that things that I know that I'm going to pull out year after year after year so yeah this shirt is from Zara it's a really nice kind of pinstripe shirt uh, and it has a pocket detail here I've just rolled up the sleeves it's quite oversized which I love in shirts because I just think it looks like I don't know it just looks more effortless and kind of laid back uh, so obviously you could pair this with a pair of jeans, you could pair this with some like smarter trousers maybe for you know work or something like that or even just casually with some smarter trousers and trainers and a nice basket bag or something, I love that look. And then I also have a linen shirt. So as we get into spring summer I start to focus a little bit more on the materials that I'm wearing because I do want them to be nice and breathable as it gets warmer. Um, so I'm really obsessed with wearing like linens and cottons and things like that. So this linen shirt is also from Zara, this is years old now um, but I will link obviously a similar one that I can down below but uh, it's a beautiful you know oversized linen shirt you can't really go wrong with these I also love getting them from the men's section I have an M&S 
man's one which I love because I do just love that very slouchy fit uh, and with these you honestly the possibilities are endless with these you can style them with jeans trousers skirts I wear them on holiday as like a cover-up over my bikini uh, there are honestly so shorts and I'm shorts I love them with there are just so many ways you can wear these and I do honestly feel like my wardrobe would not be complete without one of these so highly highly recommend just a white linen shirt really easy to have great to chuck on um, very lightweight they even look nice like paired over like slip dresses and like maybe tied there really are so many ways to wear them okay so next up I want to talk about t-shirts now I have a white version of this as well which is really annoyingly in the wash and I got it out for this video but it's, it's literally just like filthy it needs a wash so I was like I can't show that um, so I'll show you the black one and then I'll pop a picture of me wearing the white one on screen here but um, these are from and other stories now I feel like you guys will know this already but having a white t-shirt and a black t-shirt just really are like such a good basic to have in your wardrobe and they really are going to be the things that you can build outfits around so when I don't know what to wear I often will pull out like a white t-shirt and blue jeans and then sort of work around that and I just find them so helpful to have but finding a good quality white or black sort of basic t-shirt it's actually really hard and because you're often wearing them a lot you want them to wash well i personally absolutely love and other stories for these kind of basics so they have really really good kind of flattering cuts in really nice materials so this is quite actually um kind of heavy and quite thick uh, but it is 100% cotton, uh, it hangs really really nicely, it's organic cotton as well um, and it's just a simple kind of t-shirt, it's got kind of slightly longer arms which I like, again I do like these a little bit slouchier so you can tuck them in, uh, but these are just great building blocks for your outfit, so as I said I would pair you know a white t-shirt and jeans, black t-shirt and jeans, but I would also style these under like trench coats, would look so nice it's just like a nice kind of basic maybe with some black skinny jeans trench coat and some loafers so before we go into coats jackets and things like that i wanted to switch it up a little bit and chat to you about accessories so first up i wanted to talk to you about bags so i love basket bags as we go into the spring summer i just love the tones in them i just think they add like a nice texture to your outfit and yeah i don't know i just absolutely love them so i wanted to talk to you about this bag which i picked up from netta porter as well so this is from the brand dragon diffusion and i hadn't actually heard of this brand before uh, and i was sort of browsing on netta porter for basket bags and i came across these and i just thought they were absolutely gorgeous uh, and I absolutely love the kind of ethos behind the brand. It's just really cool. So um, I'll go in a little bit closer. So this isn't actually straw. It's actually leather, uh, which is amazing because obviously straw bags do get ruined, especially if you're sort of taking them away with you or anything like that. They do get ruined. They don't pack in suitcases very well at all because they're very rigid. But what I loved about this one is where it's leather, if I take out the stuffing, I just pop that in so you can kind of see the shape. Um, but where it's leather, it's so like movable and like fluid and I just absolutely love it. This would be so, so good for packing away. Like look how small it goes to. Uh, it's gorgeous. So it has this beautiful kind of um, weaving on the front there and then it has the braided strap. It's a really nice kind of beige colour which will obviously go with all of these outfits here which is so important when you're thinking about sort of bags for spring and summer. It also has this lovely feature where it has a little... St. Christopher pendant uh, kind of sewn into it. Hopefully you can see that. And it says, St. Christopher is the patron saint for travellers. This medal is a symbol of our faith and goodwill and it will protect you and the bag for years to come. And I just thought that was such a nice feature. Um, so yeah, I was so, so happy to find this brand on Net Porter. And they do have other colours and everything like that. So if you are interested, then I will leave the link down below, as I said. I just think, imagine this, you know, like even with a trench coat paired like that, but then also in the sort of proper summer paired with, oh, I love that, <laughs> paired with a white linen shirt will look so, so nice. Next up, I want to talk about sunglasses. Now, you guys know if you follow me on Instagram or even YouTube, I love my sunglasses. I am always wearing them. I think pretty much every picture I upload on Instagram, I have a pair of shades on. Um, so the first ones I want to talk about are these Ray-Bans. I have lived in these for years and years and years. Sorry, excuse the light, it's gonna look a little bit weird. But these are like the classic Ray-Ban round style. I love them, I think they're so cool. I've encouraged loads of my friends to buy them and they all love them as well. So I do think they suit lots of different kind of face shapes and everything like that. Um, and I just think they're a really, really classic, timeless pair of sunglasses. Like I said, I've been wearing this style for probably like four or five years now. So I absolutely love these and I always get asked about them. So I thought I'd pop them in this video and I'll pop the link 
down in the description box below so that's them and then because i love my round pair so so much i decided to pick up a slightly different kind of pair which is i'll come in and show you so you can see but it's kind of a little bit kind of hexagonal at the bottom there so i'll pop these on as well so that is the hexagonal pair and then if i just pop them next to it so you can see the difference. So both of those pairs are available on net porter and then I also picked up a pair of Bottega sunglasses, which I also got from net porter So it has come beautifully packaged in this box, and then if I open it up inside, you have the very kind of true to Bottega style case, which is lovely, and I didn't actually know it was gonna come with this, so this was a nice surprise. So this is the case here, and then inside there are these sunglasses. Now, I saw these on Instagram, I think about a year ago, and I was absolutely obsessed with them, but I actually couldn't find them anywhere, and then when I saw these on the net Porter site, I was like, oh wow, I have to give these a go. So, obviously, you know I love my Ray-Bans, but these are a much kind of bigger version of them. Um, again, they have that very kind of vintagey look. I love the bright gold and then the sort of like um, brown lenses. I just think they're so, so nice. I love that the gold carries on all the way to the arms there. And it also has the little gold kind of nose rests there. So I'm gonna try it on for you to let me know what you think. But I love them. I think they're so cool. I just love this style of sunglasses and I do think adding like a really, really nice pair of shades like this really does kind of elevate a look. So very, very happy with these. Okay, so next up onto the bottom half. Now here I just have trousers. I haven't put any shorts or anything like that in this video because I don't really tend to wear shorts until we are in like real proper summer um, and potentially more so on holiday as well. I love denim shorts so much, but yeah, they're definitely more of like a holiday or more like real summer look. Uh, so I can definitely do more of like a summer slash summer holiday capsule wardrobe if you guys are interested in that. Uh, but this is more like my spring kind of going into summer kind of vibe. Um, so first up, I want to chat about jeans. I literally would be nowhere in the spring summer without a trusty pair of Levi's. I am obsessed with these jeans. I found them a few years ago and... I've not really bought any other kind of style since. I think I bought like a pair from Zara just to get a slightly different style, but these really are the best jeans ever. They are so, so soft, um, so comfortable. That is the thing with Levi's. Sometimes I do find they can be a little bit uncomfortable, but these are like a really, really soft denim. I mean, you can see they're not rigid at all. So these are the 501 crop style. Uh, and I actually have two pairs of these. So I have um, a pair that I have in a waist 27 length 28 I think it is so they do have that crop detailing so it's nice when you wear them with like high top converse and stuff like that and then I also have this pair which I bought in a length 30 I believe hang on let me find the tag yeah so I bought these in a waist 29 length 30 because I wanted these to be a little bit more oversized and slouchy um I really like the kind of like boyfriend mum style jeans so they're still nice and high waisted as you can see they have the um button fly there so they're still nice and high waisted but they do come down like almost kind of skimming the floor which is what I wanted because I think that looks so cool with a pair of trainers and it also looks really really cool with a pair of heels as well okay and then next up I wanted to chat to you a little bit about tailored trousers so I love as we go into the spring wearing more like wide leg trousers because I think they look so so cool with like a trench coat a t-shirt wide leg trousers and then some converse so I have a black pair here just from Topshop and a kind of like beige colour here from Pixie Market. Um, they are both beautiful pairs of trousers. I don't know if you're going to be able to get them anymore because they are quite old, but I will link similar down below. Uh, but yeah, they're just absolutely gorgeous. I love them so much. They look so good, you know, with like a maybe like a graphic style t-shirt or a striped tee, these and a blazer and some trainers. As I said, they look so good with trench coats. They're just really kind of cool and effortless, very like Parisian style. And yeah, I absolutely love them. So I wanted to include them in this video because I do think it can be like easy to get stuck into a rut of just wearing jeans all the time. So I think it's nice to have like another option uh, that are still nice and comfortable. And that is the thing with these, they are so comfy, especially these Topshop ones. They literally have like an elasticated waist. Uh, so yeah, absolutely love them. And they're just a nice kind of different option if you are someone that finds yourself always wearing jeans all the time. So next up, talking about some shoes. So you've heard me mention Converse probably about five or six times in this video. So here they are in all their glory. These are my high top Converse's. These are the Comme des Garçons ones. As you can see, they're a little bit 
ruined because I wear these to absolute death. Uh, but yeah, they're the Comme des Garçons collaboration, so they have the little heart there. Um, but obviously you can also get these plain without the heart. So they look so nice, worn with little white dresses. I think that's just a really kind of fun look. But they also look amazing paired with denim. Um, and then also they look great <clears throat> with trench coats. And yeah, I just love them. They're so, so comfortable. And I think they're just a great kind of easy shoe that kind of goes with every outfit. I also have a pair in black as well, which I wear loads. I do probably wear them more in the autumn, winter, but I do still wear them um, spring, summer too. But yeah, I have to mention them because I'm just obsessed. Another white trainer that I'm obsessed with at the moment, or I have been for quite a while, are the Vegger. I think they're called the Vegger Venturi trainers. That's what I want to say. Um, I'll pop a picture of me wearing them on screen because I don't have them here because they're downstairs and they're really muddy because I wore them on a dog walk, which was silly. Um, but yeah, I'm also obsessed with them. They are kind of like a mix between the classic trainer and the chunky trainer trend. So if you want like a nice chunky trainer that's timeless, then I really do recommend them too. Okay, and then next up, it would not be a spring summer video for me if I did not talk about my Gucci loafers. I am obsessed. I honestly love them to death. Um, as you can see, these have been very, very worn, um, but I still absolutely love them. I can get them resold actually, which I might do because yeah, the soles are looking a little bit worn, um, but I wear these in a 35.5 and I'm normally a 36. I do find it better to size down by half a size if you can, uh, but they are just the most gorgeous, softest, comfiest, like buttery leather shoes that are really nice and breathable um, and they just look so good worn with little dresses, worn with jeans, worn with shorts. Um, I mean there's just like an endless possibility of how you can wear these. I also have a black pair too which I love um, but for this video I just thought you know like let's keep it with my favourites um, and keep it with a white pair. I don't wear these really at all in the autumn winter it's just too cold and they just don't really go with the kind of outfits that I wear but come spring summer these do not leave my feet so yeah I have to talk about them. Them. Uh, I absolutely love them they're so so nice and I do think once you have tried on a pair of these you will be like wow these are the comfiest things I've ever put on my feet so highly 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 recommend them I would also think about adding in like a black heeled boot in here because as I said I do love pairing my summer dresses with black boots so that's another thing that you could definitely add into here but I didn't want this video to go on for like forever so I thought I would um, yeah just streamline it so those two pairs of shoes Okay, so now going on to like the jackets, the outerwear, the blazers, everything like that. So I still obviously, you know, we live in the UK. I still need the layers as we go into the warmer weather, uh, but I just switched them up a little bit. So the first thing that I want to talk about is cardigans. Now this, oh, that was the loafer, sorry. <laughs> this is a oversized cardigan. As you can see, it's in this gorgeous cream color, big kind of, kind of like cable knit. Um, big pockets as well, nice and oversized, and this is just brilliant for this kind of transitional weather. Obviously, it's going to be nice and warm because it is, you know, really chunky, uh, but it's also going to be a great layering piece as well. So as we are going into the warm weather, you could literally just pair this with a pair of um, jeans and a t-shirt, and it's like you're good to go, you don't need a coat. So I do think it's that perfect kind of piece for that in between coat and no coat weather. So I absolutely love this. There's loads of ways you can style this as well. You can belt it, which I think looks so, so chic, or you can just wear it open for like a more casual kind of slouchy look. Uh, this is from Zara and I have this in a size large. So I sized up for that more kind of slouchy look. Um, and it goes down to like mid calf and it's just lovely. It's such a nice kind of throw on piece. So I really, really love cardigans for that in between weather. So next up, I want to talk about blazers. So I love blazers. I live in them all year round. And as we go into the spring, summer, I just basically change my blazers up so the materials are a little bit more lightweight, change the colours and stuff like that. So this is this gorgeous kind of sage green blazer from H&M. As you can see, it's a lovely structure. It has shoulder pads there, nice lapel. It's got the little um, pocket there. And then as we go down, it has the two pockets at the side and this gorgeous button there. Um, it's quite an oversized one, this. Again, I love the slouchy stuff. And I think especially when you're pairing sort of blazers over like dresses and stuff like that, it's nice to have something a little bit more slouchy and like nice and flowy, if that makes sense. So this is a much sort of lighter fabric than the more sort of heavy, maybe like wool ones that I would wear in the winter. And I just think this looks so gorgeous paired with like a white t-shirt and jeans, but also paired with a nice, white summer dress i think this is going to look so so nice together look at that that's so gorgeous with maybe like some gold jewelry or something and then the white gucci loafers 
And then obviously they work really well with shirts as well. There are so many ways you can wear blazers. And they're also great as we do go to like more occasions and stuff in the summer, fingers crossed. Um, they look so nice worn over your shoulders as it gets a little bit kind of cooler in the evenings. So this is a massive favorite for me and I just love the kind of pastel colors. I think that's gonna be such a big trend this year. Uh, so yeah, like the kind of like butter yellows um, and like the sage greens and the pale pinks and everything like that. Okay, so very, very lastly and well done if you got this far I want to talk to you about trench coats now you guys know how much I love trench coats I bang on and on and on about them but I do just think they are like one of the best pieces to have in your wardrobe I wear them all year round so I wear them in the autumn winter layered so I'll wear them with like a blazer underneath and the trench coat or I'll wear them underneath like a camel coat or something like that because I think they look so so chic for layering but then obviously as we come around into the warmer weather I just wear them as the trench coat on their own and I have so many trench coats because I love all the different styles. So I have like a leather one that I wear in the autumn winter. Um, I have a vintage Burberry one, which I love. Uh, and I don't know, I just love all the colors that they come out with and all the different kind of shapes and stuff. So let's talk about these two that I have here because I kind of picked out the most kind of classic ones that I think will last you for years and years and years. So this first one is from Arquette. Now this is actually a new purchase for me because I didn't have anything like this in my wardrobe and I just thought it was so cool. So this is a cropped trench. Um, and this is really, really nice if you feel like longer kind of maxi style coats drown you a little bit, perhaps if you're a little bit shorter, uh, then this might be a really good option. So I love Arquette, they're such a cool brand and their pieces are always amazing quality. So I picked this up and it's so beautiful. So it's in this really nice kind of light brown color, kind of plastic trench coat color, has the big kind of flowy lapels there. And I really, really like the more kind of rounded detailing, just kind of softens it up a little bit. It has the, are they called epaulettes? I think, Ep epaulettes, something like that, on the shoulder. Um, and then it goes down and has the cuff detail around the sleeve as well. Really nice on the back as well. It has this kind of open vent here, which is very traditional for trench coats. And it's just such a nice piece and it just looks like it's gonna flow really, really nicely when you're wearing it, it's gonna sit nicely. And I think this would be so nice one with like a pair of black skinnies, some loafers or some trainers, you know, a black or white t-shirt and then just that, uh, and some big sunglasses. I just think that again is very like Parisian and I love that kind of look. So yeah, very, very happy with this. I picked this up in a size medium because I did want it to be a little bit more oversized, but I also think you could wear it, you know, over dresses. So again, maybe like with this black dress here, that would look so nice as we get into warmer weather. Oh, I'm imagining this black dress, this trench coat and like some Doc Martens or something just to kind of grunge it up a little bit. Uh, I just think that's so cool. So absolutely loving the shorter trench vibes and I'm seeing it everywhere at the moment on Instagram and stuff. So I really recommend getting your hands on one if you feel as though it's maybe like a longer trench isn't your style. And then the longer trench. So this is from And Other Stories and I picked this up in a recent haul uh, because I have so many people always asking me, you know, where is the best place to buy a trench coat and stuff. So I wanted to try out a few new ones that were on the market. Um, so this is absolutely gorgeous. It has the sort of double breasted detailing all down there with lots of gorgeous buttons if I go in a little bit closer. Um, and it also has a really nice belt detail, which is great obviously for cinching it in. Uh, and it has the same detailing on the cuff there. So there's loads of gorgeous detailing in this. I won't go on about this for too long because if you watched my recent haul, then you will have seen it, but it's so, so nice. It comes down to like calf length and it's a really, really beautiful trench coat. Um, it's a really nice lightweight material as well. So you're not gonna get kind of too hot in it or anything like that. And yeah, I just love it. And I think it's such a good staple to have. Again, styling in the exact same way that I mentioned. It will just look so nice with like jeans and trainers, but like, kind of like off duty look. Uh, but yeah, I absolutely love that. Netta Porter also have a trench coat from the brand Totem, which I absolutely love. I'll pop a picture on the screen here. It is so, so nice. So I'll link that down below as well if you're interested in that one. So guys, that is the end of my video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for sticking around for it. I know it was a really long one, but um, these videos tend to be quite long because there are quite a few pieces that I want to talk about and go into detail with. So thank you so much for watching this video and thank you to Ned Porter for sponsoring part of this video. It's been so, so lovely to work with them and I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And as I said, absolutely everything will be linked in the description box below. So don't forget to come and follow me over on Instagram as well, where you will see these pieces being styled up as we go more into the spring and summer. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.